Hey guys, welcome to a new advanced Java tutorial. Today we will look at the watch service API of Java, which brings some really cool extensions for the file API that was introduced in Java 7. The watch service API allows you to subscribe for file system events, such as file or folder modifications, creation and deletion. Let's jump right into an example. I will quickly create a new project and a new class. First, we need to initialize a new watch service from the Java NIO file package. I will call it watch service and we get our watch service from the file systems dot get default dot new watch service, which will initialize a new service. This watch service will now recognize every change on the file system and we also have to throw the IO exceptions. We also need a path variable from the Java NIO file package, which contains our directory that we want to observe and for that I will just use a newly created folder on my C drive. I've already created this folder on the file system and in order to receive changes to this folder in our application we need to register for those events and we can do this by using directory.register. We have to put in two arguments. First is the watcher which we created in the first line and the second one is the actual event that we want to receive. Here we can easily use the standard watch event kinds enumeration where we find the four possible values to subscribe for. For the beginning we will start with the entry create event and of course we have to save our watch key in variable. Now we want to continuously listen for new events that's why we create an endless while loop here. By using the watch key dot poll events we will receive a list of events that happened since we registered our watch key. We will iterate over all the watch events that we will receive every event that's contained in the poll event list that is returned and we will print out every event kind that we receive even though it can only be one currently because we only subscribe to the entry create event here. I will now start the application and you see the application is running. I will switch to the folder and create a new simple text document. You already see we received our entry create event in the console. So so this event was recognized by our subscription. I will terminate the application and we will now subscribe to multiple event types. So you can simply put in additional events you want to listen here. So I will put in all three important events so we get every change on this folder in our application. If we now execute this and I will change something in this document we created, save this, we see down here that we received two modifications which is perfectly normal at least on Windows systems you have to simply ignore the second event of the same type or you can check the last modification timestamp which will be equal on both events to get the file that triggered the event you can use the context property of the event variable simply cast this to a path variable you can now output the file and as you can see if I now change something here you see the new text document was changed but be careful because in this case you have only the file name containing in the path variable you don't have the complete path to the directory so to get the real path that you need to get file properties you need to say directory.resolve and put in the path here we will again execute this save one more time and now you see the complete path to the directory and the file this allows us to print out some more information such as the last modification date which we get by calling the file dot to file dot last modified we will now again save change and you can see that the modification date of both events is exactly equal I know this is kind of weird but I guess we have to live with that that's all for now I hope you enjoyed watching the video if you have any questions feel free to write a comment and I hope I see you soon